Hello and welcome to this HowTech video tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the VLOOKUP function in Excel. So I have a list of names here, and the units that they bought, and I have a list of people who received units. So I'm going to test if these lists are the same, which they should be if everything went ideally. So I'll just output the information here. So I'll hit equals, and we'll type in VLOOKUP. And we can go ahead and see the values that we need to put in here. First, we need a lookup value. We're going to be looking for Jake in this column. So we can also go ahead after that. We find that first argument. We hit comma. And we need a table array, which I'm going to select right there. And we need a column index number. We have three columns here, but we want to output the first column, which has the names in them. So for that, I can just type in 1. And finally, we need a range lookup. This is a Boolean value, either true or false. You can see here by the tooltips what they do. We want false. We're looking for an exact match. So then, closing parentheses, and we can hit enter. And j returns Jake, because Jake is there. However, you see there's a problem with lot, because lot is not in our list. So I can also return the third column to see how many units they bought. And lots would still return as NA. I could also, if I wanted to, show some values on the other side to test if any of these match who received units to see if I needed to send units to another person or not. This has been a How Tech video tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.